Welcome back to another video. This will be regarding trim. So my previous video was regarding split, as you can see over here. Now, in order to take a look at trimming, we're gonna look at the following part over here. So the trimming tool is located over here. So it will be underneath the split tool. And in some cases, those two will be quite similar. So if I will check over here, we're going to see that trim will cut and assemble two elements. And if I will check the description for the split, we're going to see that split will cut and relimit an element using a cutting element. Now, for trimming, we're going to start with the first mode, which is the standard one. We're going to see that we have the standard and the piece mode. Within the standard mode, one portion of the selected element that can be either surface or wire is kept and um, it will be trimmed by the element position over here within the list. So <coughs> it is not mandatory to only be between two. Like we see over here for the trim description, within Katia cuts and assembles two element. It's not um, really mandatory to be only two elements. So let's take a look at trimming. We're going to have a list, in this case, those two elements, so extrude two and three. And we're going to have the same functionality like within split, so element to remove, element to keep. And we're going to have the other side feature over here. So currently, after this string definition, we're only going to keep these two components over here, those two surface. Now with the other side, it will be over here. If I will go back and again, other side, now we're going to have the following two over here. If you're going to click OK, we're going to see that the trim will go over here and it will be uh, nested over here. Now, if you're going to go for the, um, the other type of trim, which will be pieces, if I would try to use the standard one over here, for example, we're going to have three circles and another ellipse over here. If I will just leave the trim definition to standard and I will want to trim this with the ellipse, we're going to see that we have a warning over here. So in this case, close wire positioning is ambiguous, result depend on their position. Okay, let me just expand this. The position of the highlighted closure points versus the intersection location. Selection may then change. Let's see how long will this be. So selection may then change during update. Use the keep and remove options to get a stable result. So in this case, if I will just click OK like this, we're going to see that trim will do the standard cut over here. And uh, this will act similar to a split. If you are familiar with that, if not, I recommend to check my previous video. And if you're going to go for the second mode, which is pieces, I can select over here, for example, those two circles. And we're going to see with orange the outline of that trim. If I will also add this one, we're going to have the following outline over here. If I'm going to click on that, we're going to have this profile plus the one on, over here on the top. So I can also add to that selection as we can see like this. Now, if I will click OK, we're going to see that in this case, the result will uh, have a non-convex result. So it's important to only have one intersection over here. Currently, it has a problem over here with the bottom elements. So let us redo that trim with pieces. And I want it to be between those three and in this case i want that profile to be added as well so let's hit preview like this we're gonna see that now we still have this non-connected result over here on the top we can also disable that check and that will remove it so in this case we still have a manifold over here on the bottom and we can have that disabled as well but keep in mind that a trim like that will not be very 
very useful since it has those uh, manifold elements. Then, for example, if I will go with pieces like this, with the circle and the ellipse, I will click OK. Now this will not have any problem, but the functionality of this will be the same as the standard trimming. OK, so we have over here another surface and um, a circle and two lines over here. I will go back to, to the standard trim for this. So trim elements, in this case I can trim the circle over here and I can use the line. We're going to have that warning with um, close wire positioning is ambiguous, but if I will click OK, we're going to see the outline of this will be the following line. I will make this a different color so it will be more visible and a different line width. So as you can see, we can define an intersection between those two. If I will delete that trim and I will make it again, so I want again, but now with the other side, we're going to see that this will now be the newly defined trim. Again, this is on white. I'm just going to change the surface over here on the back so we can better visualize that. If I will go back and <clears throat> all the way over here to undo, keep in mind that with trim, you cannot select, for example, the surface, which is over here, the extrude one, and the circle over here, because this will not be a viable selection for a trim. Usually we need to trim surfaces with uh, surfaces, or like we did over here, wireframe with wireframe. This is why uh, split is also useful over here, because the element to cut will be in this case the extrude, and the cutting element will be the, um, the circle, and this will be the output. So this is another difference between splitting and trimming. And let's see over here, if we're gonna go with um, with trim, we can select the yellow surface over here, and I want to trim it with this one. And we're gonna see this will be the following output. Since we have automatic extrapolation over here, this will be removed, and uh, this section over here as well. So, if I will click OK, this will be the output of that trim. If I will go for the other side, we're going to see for the first element, it will be the trim like this. So we have the bottom section. And if I'm going to go with the other side over here, for both of those, we're going to have the top section over here. I will just delete that trim for now. And let me change this extrude. So let's see that maybe this should be 65, so that will be longer than uh, that surface. If I will now go with trim standard, I want to trim those two. We're going to see this will be now the result. So again, we can do those other sides. So in this case, the upper side or the bottom one and over here as well. So this will be in this case left and right since uh, this is the orientation of those. We can also use um, the feature just like within split if you want to keep various um, surfaces. For example, over here, if I will go with a standard trim between that one and that one, I can go over here and elements to keep. So in this case, this will be trimmed. If I will just click OK, we see that that has been trimmed. I can double click um, the trim in order to activate it. And over here, element to keep, I can select this. So I need to select it on the edge over here. I can click OK. And we're going to see how that will also be kept over here. And afterwards, we can um, do the multi-result management in order to define what will be the surfaces that will be maintained. So we can either use a near and far, or we can use the extract, or we can decide to keep all the sub-elements, and all of those will be nested underneath the same trim. So this is the same, just like within split in my previous video. And you can always double click on that. And for example, I no, no longer want to keep that edge. I can select it, I can remove it. And if I will try over here elements to keep, I will select this one. You're going to see that this will give us an update error. 
since half of this has been trimmed over here by um, by that intersection and this is why it's important to always click on the um, on the, the other side over here so if you want to keep something keep in mind of that you can select it on the small um, length over here either here or here in this case and uh, this will be the result of that uh, that trim so if I will do another um, trim over here between uh, this one and the one over here on the top, we're going to have the following warning over here. But if I will click OK, this will do the trim. And if I will keep all the elements, both of this surface and that one will be kept. So in this case, it will not actually be similar to a trim, most like a join. Since we didn't have any intersection between those two, but we can always go and keep only one sub element using extract over here. And um, we can select what exactly you want to extract. For example, if I will select over here, keep in mind that you cannot select only the middle face over here. Since I click on that, um, both of those uh, sides have been uh, selected as well. If I will click OK, only that will be kept over here. So during this uh, trim, we're going to see that the main feature will be an extract. And underneath that, we have a distance threshold. But if I will hide this extract and I will reveal the trim, this is the trim that has been automatically set to uh, hidden. And I can reveal that. We're going to see that the trim will uh, be like this. But afterwards, we also had an extract. And in order for Katia to process that extract, it also hides the trim feature over here. Okay, so I hope that you find this video useful. I will make um, the same for the, for the following feature over here. As we can see, this will be Sue's surface, but that will be within another video. So if you enjoyed this kind of content, let me know in, section, uh, in the comment section below. Uh, what is your, um, let's say, what are those questions mainly regarding, um, because I started to do this split and trim series from a comment from one of my um, subscribers. Therefore, let me know what are the features that you are not um, fully, let's say, understanding their functionality within Katia V5. Okay, so I will position a similar video over here on the left side and the subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.